Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to talk a little bit about motor covers for the DJI Mini 2. Because I've had a lot of folks asking me lately, hey Rick, do I need a set of motor covers for my Mini 2? <laughs> That's a tough question to answer because that word need is a really powerful word. I mean, how many things in life do you really need, right? You need air, you need water, you need food, you need shelter, you need the love of a good family. I'm sure I'm missing a few, but do you really need a set of motor covers to fly the Mini 2? Well, the honest answer is you don't, right? You could buy the Mini 2, charge it up, and fly it a long time and never have to worry about motor covers. But if you're asking me, should you be using a set of motor covers with the Mini 2, the answer to that's easy, absolutely. And the reason for that is if you look closely at the motor, take a minute and pull the props apart and look down inside that motor. What you're gonna see are those orange circles. That's the armature of the motor. Now it is protected somewhat because it's covered by shellac, so it's protected from the elements, but everything else is totally exposed. The armature, the mechanism inside, and it's like the perfect collection point for debris when you're flying your quad because when you put this thing up in the air, you're not flying through perfectly clear air. It's not a vacuum up there. You've got dust and debris. If you hit a bug and you're gonna, all that bug juice, where do you think that's going? Right down inside the motor. And if you fly in a day where there's any moisture in the air, all that moisture is gonna get down inside the motor. And it's something that isn't gonna cause you problems right away. But over time, all that collection of debris and dust and moisture is gonna cause those motors to fail sooner than they should. And heaven forbid they fail completely and the thing drops out of the sky like a brick. And it's something that will get you in trouble over time. It's not something that's gonna bite you right away. It's sort of like running around your neighborhood not wearing pants. I mean, you probably can get away with that a couple of times, but sooner or later, somebody's gonna call the cops and you're gonna be in big trouble. It was a horrible example, but it's sort of like that with these motors. So it is something I recommend because what these do is they sit on top of the motor between the actual propellers and the motor and they act like a top hat where they actually protect the windings underneath from debris and dirt and gunk getting down underneath there and it'll prolong the life of the motors and they're really easy to use. Now, before I get too deep into showing you how to put them on, I want to answer a couple of questions because these are all questions that came in around motor covers. The first one has to do with weight. Um, or I should say the first question is, why, why is there no cover on the motor? Well, DJI made a design decision. It wasn't a design flaw, it was a decision. When you're sitting down to build a product like this, and one of your criteria is, it's gotta be under 250 grams, it's sort of like you're in an air balloon, you gotta throw stuff overboard to make the balloon go up. They had to cut stuff off the quad to get it under that 250 gram weight limit. One of the things they decided not to use was a motor cover. They didn't use an enclosed motor, and they didn't use it either on the original Mavic Mini. By the way, the Parrot Anafi doesn't have a motor cover around it either, so they're trying to eliminate weight. And again, it's a design decision, and they're feeling like it's gonna work just fine, and it probably will for a period of time, but I'm always worried that over time it's gonna cause problems with the motors. But anyway, the weight of the quad, completely ready to go, ready to fly, with a battery in it, is 236 grams. Now, if you use these leg extenders, which I've talked about in other clips, they add about eight grams of weight, so you're at 244 right, 244 grams. So the big question is how much do these motor covers weigh? Well, they weigh a gram and a half. Now you don't need any kind of quadratic equation to figure out that four of these equals six grams, which still keeps you under the 250. So you can use the leg extensions and the motor covers and still be under the 250 gram flight limit for that ultralight flight weight. So they're gonna work just fine. Another question we get is are they gonna interfere with the transmission, with the GPS coordination, do they screw up the compass? They don't, they're made out of aluminum, it's machined aluminum. It's technically invisible to all those things. It's not gonna cause you any issues whatsoever. I've been using these on my Parrot Anafi, on my original Mavic Mini and on the Mini 2 ever since I started flying the drones. I don't have them on today because this is a brand new Mini 2 and I'm gonna use this as an example to actually show you how they go on. But don't worry about it. It's not gonna cause any problems with interference on GPS, compass, transmission, actually the antennas for the transmission are on the front. So a lot of people out there are worried about that. It's not an issue whatsoever as far as our testing goes. The other question we get is what about heat, right? Because obviously it seems like they'd vent through the top. Well, the truth is when you're flying through the air, these are passing through the air and the air is gonna rush past them and pull that heat off the motor. So capping the top doesn't really increase the heat at all. And we've actually done some testing. We've flown it through a full battery, landed it, and used a thermal meter to check it, and it hasn't raised it much at all. So there's no issues whatsoever with it, sort of causing issues over time with heating the motors up too much. And there's plenty of room for the hot air to escape when you're flying. Um, other than that, um, I'm gonna show you next how to install them, just so you see how simple a process it really is. And then I'll come back with a couple of other sort of comments about it, because I think this is pretty important. And I'm not trying to sell you motor covers. Obviously, we offer these on the website, but you can find them all over the web. What I'm trying to do is caution you that leaving a motor open like this, whether it's the Anafi, the original Mavic Mini, or the Mini 2, 
is really just um, looking for trouble long term, I feel. And, you know, as an engineer, debris getting in there that shouldn't be part of that, that mechanism is never a good thing. You want to keep it as clean as possible. These will help you keep all that debris from finding its way down inside those windings because at this point gravity is not your friend it's going to pull that debris down deep and over time that gunk's going to cause you issues so stay tuned next i'll show you how to install them then i'll come back with some final thoughts installing the motor cover is a really simple process essentially you're going to remove the propellers you're going to attach the motor cover to the top of the motor using these two screws and then you're going to attach the propellers to the motor cover itself now the way i like to do this is i'll hold the motor right here so it doesn't spin and then i'll take each of these propellers off individually now just be gentle when you pull them off you want to make sure that you don't poke your screwdriver down in on top of those windings you'll cause damage there you don't want to drop a screw down in there that'll cause issues for you as well when i want to work on that second one i'll spin it around again hold the motor and then take it off now i'm using a a really nice magnetic screwdriver here. It's part of this Drone Valley set that we designed. It's magnetic tipped, it's really heavy duty, it gives you plenty of leverage, makes it really easy to actually change those out. But you can use any screwdriver that fits those, those actual heads. Now we'll put the motor cover on. To do that, there are two larger holes right there. You wanna line those up with the two holes on the top of the motor. And once you've aligned those, you'll pick up one of the screws, and again, because it's magnetically attached, you can easily center it on the screwdriver. It's not gonna shake off on you and you can center it in the hole. Now don't crank down on that until you get the second screw started because a lot of times the alignment might be a little bit off and you wanna make sure that you can get both screws tightened down you're not gonna cross thread them. All right, so that one's going in nice and easy. Now I'll tighten up the first one. Okay, so the motor cover's on at this point. You can see it completely protects the top of that motor from debris falling down inside. Now all we have to do is put the propellers back on and I like to leave the screws in the propeller because it acts like a little holder for the screw that'll center over this other set of holes right here and I'll attach this one first Again, I'll get it started, and then I'll hold the base of the motor and tighten it down. Now, technically, you're supposed to use new screws every time you change out the propellers, and that's a recommendation I gave in the clip I did for changing the propellers. But honestly, I've reused the screws a bunch of times since then and haven't had any issues. And really what it comes down to is at the bottom of the screws, there's Loctite, that once you attach them, the Loctite activates and actually holds it in there a lot tighter. But I've, again, changed propellers a bunch of times in the field using the same screws and had no issues. But if you feel a little bit nervous about that, maybe you'll put the motor covers on when you decide it's time to change out your props. But again, I've used the same screws and it's worked out fine. Just make sure everything is nice and tight before you finish up. Again, don't crank down on this because it's aluminum. You don't want to strip any of the screws. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I've got the other three done already, so we're ready to get outside and start flying. I hope that was helpful in showing you just how easy it is to install the motor covers on the Mini 2. I think that whole process took me about 10 minutes start to finish, and I really took my time making sure all the screws were nice and tight. Now, in addition to the eight screws that are included with the kit to attach those motor covers to the actual motors, there are four spare screws that are also bundled with the kit, and those are included in case that tiny little microscopic screw that you're using to attach the cover to the motor pops off the end of your screwdriver and skits across the desk heading for the carpet, you've got four spare screws you can use to attach the covers. Now, a few things I'd suggest when you're doing a project like this, first off, find an area you can work. Clear a nice workspace where you've got plenty of room to see everything, and if you drop a screw, it's going to be easy to see. Also, lay something down that's soft, maybe a dish towel or some paper towels, and work on that surface, because if you drop one of those screws, you don't want to have a shiny surface like this where it's going to skid across the table and disappear forever. By having a dishcloth down, it's going to fall in that dishcloth and stay where you drop it. The other thing I'll suggest is use a decent screwdriver. You need a really small screwdriver with a magnetic tip. You can absolutely use the screwdriver that comes with the prop kits, but it's not terribly magnetic, so you've got to fiddle a little bit with it to keep it on the end of the screwdriver. Now, I was using the Drone Valley 48-piece screwdriver set. It's a shameless plug for that product, but we spent a lot of time putting it together totally magnetic, so it's going to hang out of those screws really well and make it easy for you to attach them. So you can use that or you can use the screwdriver that came with the kit. One other thing I do want to say, there are a couple of different models of motor covers on the market. The ones we have and the ones we like and have tested actually attach to the motors with two screws and then the propellers attach to that motor cover with two screws. Some of the kits on the market, basically you take the propellers off, you lay the cover down over top of the motor, and you put the screws back on. The challenge there is that those screws that hold the prop on are now holding that cover on, and it's going to rattle a little bit. So we tested those. I wasn't really happy with them, and we decided to go with these, which are sort of an upgrade to them. So just keep that in mind. Now, as I say every time, when we find a product like this that we like an awful lot and that we use ourselves, we'll bring it in, offer it on the website, and we do that so you know you're getting the product we reviewed. We'll be here if you have any questions about the product. We're going to stand behind the product long term, so it's not like you're going to buy it and then 
and oh my gosh, what do I do if I have problems? We're going to be here. We'll take care of you. So I've got links below where you can find these on our website. You can find them on Amazon as well. And again, we like them, we use them, and I can totally recommend it to people that are asking about motor covers. And that's pretty much it for today. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I've got a ton more content coming. I say this every time. Hit the subscribe button down there and join the Drawn Valley family because you're not going to want to miss any of this new content that's coming. I really appreciate the viewership. You guys have been really great with keeping the conversations going around drones and other high-tech gear. And I love that stuff. As a nerd, I love talking about technology. So keep those comments coming. And until next time, that's pretty much all I have. So happy flying.